Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to give you three quick tips that will help you better use Luminar 4. And we're going to jump right into it. The first tip concerns the library module, and it's probably more applicable for those of you that have a lot of folders in your library module. As you can see, I don't have that many, but those of you that have a lot probably know that you have to like scroll to a folder and that could be really a drag if you're accessing a specific folder all the time you have to keep kind of scroll and search for it in your folders area of the library module well you could take any folder and put it up in your shortcuts so that it's more easily and quickly accessible to do that let's just say this white lake folder i want to put in my shortcuts just right click on it and at the very bottom, add to shortcuts. And you'll see it's now up there in shortcuts. You could do that to albums as well. Let's say this working album, I want it in my shortcuts. I could right click on it and add to shortcuts. And you could remove any of those that you added to your shortcuts by simply clicking on it, right clicking on it, like White Lake, and remove from shortcuts. Also, in your shortcuts, there's some like more or less uh, luminar specific shortcuts like recently added recently edited these weren't created by you this is part of luminar but if you don't want those in your shortcuts you could remove those by going to select and then down to let's say recently added and recently edited and you could see you're removing a check mark next to them you could remove favorites and if you want to bring them back just click on them again and you'll put those check marks back and they'll show up in shortcuts now our next tip, tip number two, concerns, actually not that image. Let's go to, I should probably put this in shortcuts. Uh, it concerns this image. I want to use the eraser tool and get rid of like sensor spots and this little branch over here. And I have a couple mini tips that will help you better utilize the eraser tool. So we're gonna go over to the edit panel and we're gonna click on erase for the erase tool and it will prepare the image for the erase operation. And once it does, you'll see over on the top left-hand side, we have the tool attributes. You could add to a selection, a part you wanna erase. You could subtract from that selection. You could use the lasso tool to lasso a selection that you want out of there. You could also clear anything that you did that maybe you, don't, you made a mistake, you just clear it. You also could change the size of your brush right there. And you also could change the size of your brush with your bracket keys. The right bracket key will make the brush larger and the left bracket key will make the brush smaller. And then when you're finally ready to erase something, you could hit this erase button or you could click done and then it will close down the erase tool and open back up into the edit panel of Luminar 4. Now, for example, I want to add some things I need to erase. I have a little water drop on my lens over here on the far right. So I'm going to use the right bracket key to get a bigger brush. And then I'm just going to click on that. So we're going to get rid of that. There's also a little spot right here. I'll get a smaller brush, hit the left, left bracket key. Then I have this branch over here and I want to remove that. Now, mini tip number one, let's say I want to remove this uh, tower in the background. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hit Command Plus a couple times on my Mac. If you have a PC, you'd hit Control Plus. Then I'm going to hold the space bar in to go to the hand tool so I could better move. Now this is kind of long, and I could just draw. This is probably easy. I could just draw on it. And what this is probably more applicable for is if you're uh, removing something long, like a telephone line or a power line or a big long pole, not something like this. But for this example, I'll show you. Now I'll use the right bracket key to get a bigger brush. Maybe just a little bigger. And I'll click at one extreme end once. And the tip is, if you want to draw a straight line, just go to the other extreme end, hold the shift key in, and click a second time. And you drew a perfectly straight line. Now I'm going to fit the image to screen by hitting Command-0 on my Mac, Control-0 on your PC. Now, mini tip number two for the eraser tool is let's say I want to remove this bench. So I'll paint this bench out of here, right? So we're just going to paint it out of here. Oops. And let's say I made a mistake, like I went over on this bench and I don't want to remove that bench. Well, you could go back up here to subtract and click on this button, but a quicker 
easier way is to just hold the Alt key in if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, and you'll temporarily turn from Add into Subtract, and then you could more quickly and easily subtract or fix any mistakes you made might have made. Or maybe now I'm having second thoughts about moving this bench at all. So I'll just get a bigger brush by hitting the right bracket key. I'll hold that Option key on my Mac in, Alt if you have PC, and I'll just remove my selection altogether. So that's mini tip number two for the Erase tool. Hold the Alt or Option key in to switch between Add and Subtract very quickly and easily. Now when you're done, you could hit Erase, and it will erase what I selected and stay in the eraser tool so I could erase more, like I see a spot up here. Or when I'm done, I think I have them all, I'll just click done and it will erase everything there. Okay, our final tip, tip number three, I have to credit uh, one of the viewers of my video. They emailed me this tip uh, that they stumbled across and it has to do with the dodge and burn tool. So we're gonna go to the pro tab and we're gonna go to dodge and burn and if you start painting so you click on the little start painting button you'll see the tool attributes come up and you could dodge by lightning burn by darkening you could erase anything you did and you could change the size of the brush uh, again the bracket keys will do that the right bracket key left bracket key and go like that and actual the strength this is kind of like the density or flow of the brush but what you'll notice here there's nothing for feathering or softness of the brush. Well, you actually could do that with a keyboard shortcut. If you want to change the softness or feathering of the brush, simply hold the shift key in and then hit the bracket keys. And you could see that it's affecting the softness of the brush when I do that. There is not a control for it up in the tool attributes, but it's easily accessible with that keyboard shortcut. Just hold the shift key in while you hit either of the bracket keys. And I, again, I'd like to thank Dimitri for emailing me that tip. And I'd like to thank all of you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.